Yes. Well, hello, people of the internet. It's your girl. Your resident goth here to speak the words of wisdom to you. I've been on hiatus, question mark. Not really. I literally got a job. As I feel like I mentioned this in the last video that I made, but literally I, I started working the following week. So I've been working, I think I've been working for two or three weeks now. And um, yeah, gotta say it's weird having like a nine to five type job. It's like, you know, like this is my first time having a full-time job for the first time in my life. So it's a little weird having to go to work every single day. But <laughs> the stuff that I do at my job is like already like, it's time consuming. It's like busy work. Like, uh, yeah. So like you're so focused on trying to make this product and trying to make it perfect that like the day kind of goes by kind of fast in a way. So it's like you get there, it's like, oh my God, work, 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 work. And then it's like time to go. And it's like, oh my God. I need to leave <laughs> it's like oh my god it's like you know you gotta be on it like we're creating like we're we create art decor pieces pretty much so that's what we do all day every day so like I tell you having a car having a car it just make this experience a lot easier I have what but it's also very annoying and I also feel bad for my car because like you put miles on it I'm going over speed bumps all the time but going over potholes all this stuff I feel bad for her I feel really bad she's going through a lot Speaking of her, I need to get an oil change. But that's none of your business. <laughs> anyway, the real reason why we're here... I hate these planes. The real reason why we're here right now is because the magazines finally came. Well, actually, I don't know when they came because I haven't checked the mail in like a million years. But they're finally here in my possession now. I'm here to show you. For those of you who don't know, I got featured in an art magazine. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a, it's a Georgia-based, Atlanta-based art magazine. I would say. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So I submitted to it a uh, way long time ago. I don't even remember. And um, I submitted to it. They chose my artwork among many other people's, and uh, it got featured in a magazine. And of course, COVID happened, so they didn't print a physical copy of the magazine. They just released it on the web version obviously and I was like okay cool cool I didn't think they were ever gonna print it but they actually did and they sent everyone who submitted a copy which was very generous so let's go take a look they sent it in this envelope and they sent it in an envelope that's addressed like it has my address on it but the name on it is completely wrong like I, I don't know who this person is someone by the name of Noel sorry Noel but um I guess I'm you now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, a little dramatic. This is not the magazine. I don't know what this is. Is there any, any explanations? Nope. <laughs> okay. Huh? Okay. So this is the actual magazine. Boom. Uh, very simple. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me open it wide. Isn't that fancy? So fancy, okay. Um, not to be rude, but I'm gonna skip to see where mine is at. I wish I had a, like a full page spread, but like, records can't be treated as I'm happy I made it in here, okay? Thank you to everyone at Ungra Underground who uh, I gave everyone this opportunity, especially me. I am grateful. I'm scrolling through. I must be at the very last page. Oh, there I go. <laughs> this one right here. Oh my god, it's getting blown out. Anyway, you might remember this painting. It's been sitting in, like on the back of, of like the background for like ever. So um, this painting right here. It's your girl's painting. Very nice. The title of this painting is called Fixed Perspective. And <laughs> when I was submitting it, like when I was submitting to the artist call, I was so afraid of, of spelling perspective wrong because I know I would have definitely spelled it wrong had I not like I triple checked it. I was like I don't like this would be so embarrassing to spell this wrong. <sighs> like instead of putting per I would have put pre like, perspective like anyway you girl a little dumb sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of being dumb okay I feel like after like experiencing this job for a few days for weeks 
weeks, however long it's been. I honestly feel like I may be like mildly dyslexic or something because in the job like we have to like color like we use enamel glass or whatever. And each coat each color is labeled by a number and it's like a four digit number. And like, you know, you have like the thing where you put like color it by number pretty much like color by number and so you gotta pick the right color according to the number <laughs> and for some reason my mind just cannot read numbers correctly like it is so weird like what was it like there was a number that was like 5018 and my mind read it as like 2515 like that's not even like why why like it's just so weird it's not even like getting a number switched even though I always get my fours and eights wrong all the time like the number could be 84 and I will say 44 like as if like like I don't know I, I feel like I'm just mildly dyslexic like numbers brain can't process I'm also excited because this weekend hopefully if the weather permits I'm gonna be throwing a bonfire with me friends I might film a little bit of that who knows will it be in this video who knows but um i literally just got off i literally just got off got just got <laughs> i literally just got off work went to target went to dollar tree just came home saw that my magazines came i was like i gotta make a video about this so here we are and i'm like my mind is so active right now <clears throat> it feels like a friday to me but it's the middle of the week happy hump day well by the time you watch this it won't be wednesday anymore but happy wednesday I'm like so hype right now. But I'm really excited for this little bonfire thing that I'm doing. And like, what made me really want to do this bonfire thing is because I have a lot of mail that I want to get rid of and I usually like to burn my mail. Sorry to Mother Earth, I know. But like, that's I feel like the most correct way to dispose of it because I don't want anyone getting my information. So I burn my mail. And I was like, well, instead of just burning my mail, I'm going to make a whole big shindig about it and I'm going to have a whole bonfire. You know, it's gonna be food, it's gonna be marshmallows, it's gonna be music, it's gonna be games, it's gonna be great. Like, I'm excited. This has been a stressful week, maybe two weeks. I need something to relax my mind. And I feel like this bonfire would be really nice if it doesn't rain, which it might. I'm not sure, who knows. Weather's very confusing. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. This also right here goes to show that if you like an artist out there, you're small time, big time, whatever. You just like, you know, you just like making art and you just kind of want to make a name for yourself or whatever. You really have to like go out there and like pursue it or whatever. Like I would have never known about this magazine had I not randomly walked into a coffee shop one day and it was just sitting there talking about an artist call. And I was like, wow, had I not walked in here, I would have never known. That's how like most of my opportunities happen. And so if you really just want to submit to shows and stuff, like I guess you can Google it for like your area or whatever. But like a lot of times I put postings like at places and stuff like that especially coffee shops especially if you have an art artsy district wherever you live like just go there and just hang out in the area like you're bound to find something to get your creative juices flowing whether it's something that you create like by yourself on your own like your original stuff or you partake in like some group project like you have to like literally physically go out there to like get out there you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know why i'm so hyped right now and it kills me to know that when I was at Target, I was going to go to Starbucks to get some coffee. I don't need it. I don't need coffee. I don't. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I upload videos on Saturday. Maybe Sunday, depending. I don't know. I guess I might move it to Sunday now that I work every day. That sounds correct. I guess I upload videos Saturday now. I mean Sunday. Am I going to upload this one Sunday? Oh my, oh my god. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.